Hey, this is Jonathan Mead. Have you ever noticed that the old world of quote unquote real jobs is dying and that world of prefabricated careers, pre-templated careers, you know, working in the way your grandparents expected you is slowly decaying and there's a new world of work emerging, one where people are designing their own callings on their own terms and designing their own work that they love, not just succumbing and relenting to that monotonous grind. And people are also realizing that those safe jobs, those secure jobs aren't so safe anymore. So the old rules were that you show up and you put in your eight or 10 hours a day, you know, someone else decides what you do. You take orders, you follow the rules and you design your life around your work. But the new rules are that you design the rules, you design your own calling, you design your own career, you decide what you get to do, what type of projects you work on, and your work is designed around your life, not the other way around. But this old way of working isn't going to just die on its own. We have to create something new in its place and we need to make a very important shift in order to make this possible. And I'm gonna share that with you in this video. But before I get into that, I just wanna tell you a little bit about who I am and how this all got started. So not too long ago, I was working at a string of quote unquote survival jobs just to get by in order to pay the bills. And I just accepted that that was the way it is. And I would work eight to 10 hours a day. You know, I had a commute for about two hours a day. And of course I had to sleep for eight hours a day. And I would sometimes joke around and, and say that I rented out my mind or my life 75% of the time in order for me to live on my own terms the other 25% of the time. And for a long time, I just accepted this. But over time, I got more and more fed up and I realized that this was bullshit. I realized there was another way that I could do things and I was led to find entrepreneurship as a vehicle for sharing and for helping other people with their own personal growth. And I was able to launch a blog from my cubicle and work on this business on the side. And a year later, I, I replaced my job income and made a living full time doing what I loved. But just in case you think that I'm special or that you think that you know, I have some type of special circumstances that make me you know, more privileged or lucky than someone else, consider some of these you know, impressive stats from, uh, from my upbringing and from my, uh, my journey. So I was raised dirt poor. I grew up mostly in trailer parks. I, was, I had this idea, this belief instilled with me that there was never enough. You know, and not only did you have to be grateful for a job that you didn't really care about in order to live, you were also supposed to fight for that job because there wasn't enough to go around. So I had that to deal with. I also dropped out of high school when I was 15 and I was kicked out of my house when I was 16. And then I worked two jobs doing you know, a graveyard shift to put myself through college in order for myself to have a better life. And on top of all of that, I have this kind of entrepreneurial ADD where I literally these days can't do things that I'm not interested in and excited about. So I'm forced to basically only choose things that I really, really, really care about. If you think you know, that you can't do it, I had all the odds stacked against me and I was still able to make this work. And I believe that if you have a passion, if you have a drive and if you have an idea you can bring that to the world and you can release that and start making a new life for yourself. So I want to invite you to join me in creating this new world of work, but we're not gonna be able to do it without going about this strategically. So while it may seem really tempting for you to go into your job tomorrow and scream F you to your boss and just decide to quit right here and now, uh, that's probably not gonna be too intelligent. I, I hear from people all the time that try, to, that try this route and then end up you know, six months later having to crawl back to their employer and you know, beg for their jobs back because they couldn't hack it as a self-made man or woman. So you need to create a job replacement income first and then quit your job. And in the next updates in this series, I'm gonna share with you exactly how I did this, exactly how I turned my day job, which was my greatest enemy, into my greatest ally 
and how I strategically replaced my job income and funded my freedom in order to make this path uh, sustainable. So maybe you were brought here today because you're tired of following the rules, you're tired of following someone else's vision, tired of following someone else's idea of what you should do, and you wanna stop following the leader and start following yourself. But in order to do that, there's an important shift that you have to make, and you need to reclaim your unreasonableness. So what I mean by that is you need to start favoring following your heart over being practical. There's a quote by George Bernard Shaw that says, the reasonable man adapts himself to the world, but the unreasonable man adapts the world to himself. Therefore, all progress depends on the unreasonable man. And I believe this is absolutely fundamental. We have to reclaim our unreasonableness. We have to decide that doing what we love is more important than fitting in. So let's just not make this some cool idea that you forget about tomorrow. I wanna to challenge you to do something to make this a reality and to make quitting an inevitability. I want you to set a date for when you're going to quit your job and say goodbye to dead end work for good and share it with us down below in the comments. We've also included a template that you can fill out to remind yourself of this quitting date so you can start to make it an inevitability. So thank you so much for watching. In the next video, I'm gonna share with you some of the nitty gritty and embarrassing, raw, honest details about how I quit my job, the mistakes I made along the way, and the strategies that I used that finally worked for me. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.